Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. I'm going to introduce you to what I think is going to be, end up be probably the conclusion of my build. This is a Hyper Toys Hyper Racing 1600 watt converted to an 1800 watt electric stand up or sit down foldable off-road scooter. Front suspension, rear suspension, it does have lights, front lights, rear light, brake lights, disc brakes, uh, uh, horn, and it had knobby tires when I bought it. I changed it to the street tires because I'm on the street most of the time. And I added a couple of kickstands. Uh, I added a boost bottle, and I added this little uh, tool pouch up here. And then this water pouch here that holds my gloves. This is my speedometer up here. This is the tachometer, an hour meter. This is the lean kit up here, which is basically a hose that runs down here to the boost bottle and tees off to go to the boost bottle and then to the bottom side of the intake carburetor, uh, intake manifold. Um, I've added a 49cc two-stroke CAG motor. I think these originally came on, um, they originally came on uh, the cheap Chinese ATVs and like pit bikes. Uh, it does have this um, jack shaft, which they call a transmission. It's supposed to be a chain drive. I converted it to belt drive with about, a, these are 10 inch wheels and that's probably a 10 inch um, V belt drive. Um, it does have disc brakes front and back, and I added a handle, and we will take it for a little test drive here. Oh, I, I did a lot of other modifications. Uh, this is a expansion chamber and silencer, and I just stuffed this silencer full of steel wool, quieted it down. I wrapped the exhaust in um, heat wrap. I disabled the fuel shutoff because it was always running out of gas. I put a 90 degree shutoff and a 90 degree fuel filter. This gas tank and I'm running Motul at 25 to 1 with Rec 90 fuel. And I put uh, carbon fiber reeds and uh, jetted it properly so that it runs right. Here's another hour meter. Change the spark plug to the Denso spark plugs. You'll see some of that and the uh, other, right? And change this uh, spark plug cap to the NGK cap um, instead of that uh, leaking cheap Chinese. Um, and that's about it. Um, we will go for a ride. The sound is probably going to get a lot worse because I'm using a Bluetooth. And... It also, um, I'm going to be wearing a enclosed helmet, so bear with me. As I put the helmet on, you get the helmet all strapped in, locked in, and let's see how my angle is going to be. My angle is pretty good. My angle is pretty good. I'm going to give it just a little bit better of an angle. So when I look down like this, you'll see the speedometer and the tachometer. But when I look up, you'll see the road. Okay, that's much better. Let's give it a fire up. Turn on the electric. And let's make sure our brake lights are working. They are. Let's make sure my lights are working. The running lights are working. Brake lights are working. Headlights working. 
Okay, we're ready for a test drive. All of the gas is on. We're ready to go. We think. Okay, let's give this a try. It's still cold right now, but we will warm it up with a little bit of cruising. And that's about half throttle, 25 miles an hour. I'm going to stand up going over those speed bumps because anything over about 25, you hit them at 40, 45, and you'll fly over them in this. Um, I'm just running on uh, 3,100 RPM. I'm running no electricity, just the gas, and about half throttle. And we got a little incline right here, so we'll open up to about half throttle while we're still warming up the two-stroke. While we're warming up the two-stroke, now we got a downhill and the speed bump at 25. Those are just manageable at 25. Those are manageable. Okay. So we're going to open it up. We should be warmed up by now. We're going to back open a little bit and get it going. And here we go. Full throttle gas, full throttle electric. There we go with that little short excursion. We're going to see if we can't, uh, we're going to see if we can't go down the road here a little bit faster. Nobody behind me. I do have a stop sign. We're going to come to a stop. It idles at about 1800. I still have nobody behind me. So we're going to wind her up a little bit. about 4500 RPM. 
I went off the electric to save it, although I probably don't need to save it. And I will see how we're going to do coming up to the intersection. I've got nobody behind me. He's got a section of the road here. If I hang a right. This is what I'll do. I'm going to take the old sidewalk here. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to stand up and I'll cruise down the sidewalk with just the electric. So I get down here to turn out give me a little more distance in, in the wind. We're in South Florida and it rained about two inches about an hour ago. The streets are already pretty much dry. And we're going to go here. We're going to wind it up here. We got some distance to cover. Full throttle gas, full throttle electric. And we're going to let it wind up. too bad. 43 miles an hour. Not too shabby. You can sure smell the old engine by Mopal Ashworth. Two strokes. I got nobody behind me. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and hit this. Full throttle gas. Full throttle electric. Thank you. 
comes down to an idle. The idle is at about 1200, 1270, and I'm just going to hit the uh, electric only. Hit the electric only at full throttle, and I get the electric uh, only full throttle at 25. That is still accelerating, 26, 27, and I have to hit the brakes. Because I'm filming. So, that'll about do it. Um, it will actually hit 45 miles an hour. Um, I've hit 45 miles an hour in at once. I did have a tailwind. And that tailwind really helped. And if you know anything about scooters, especially these lightweight jobs, I said that's a 49cc two-stroke, that's basically uh, what they use for weed eaters. So, um, <laughs> I mean, that's basically what this is, is like a weed eater engine. So, just to give you a wrap up. That's the uh, Hyper Toys 1800-watt electric off-road stand-up or sit-down scooter with a CAG 49cc two-stroke added to it with some modifications. I, um, by the way, I do have uh, lights. You can see lights. Um, you can see also I have a horn, I also have a kill switch for the two-stroke, uh, and you can see right here my top speed was 43 miles an hour. We went a distance of just a little over five miles, and it's a key switch for the electric part. You can kill that, and you see the battery indicator there. So these are good batteries, really good batteries. And um, I've got a lot of battery left, a lot, a lot. <laughs> so, but it does go through a lot of battery and a lot of gas if you are at full throttle with both of them. If you go half throttle with the gas and just do your uh, quick accelerations with your electric motor, like getting out into intersections or crossing streets or just want to, you know, jump out into the local surface street traffic, um, the batteries will last you way longer than that little tank of gas will. So, but that's okay. Um, like I said, anybody that rides these for any kind of distance at all carries a little backpack, and in that little backpack is their, um, you know, one quart of... Um, that 94 octane synthetic two-stroke oil, it comes in a metal can, and you pick those up at the hardware store or the auto parts store. You put that in your backpack so that you don't have to run on the electric to get home. As long as you don't have a mechanical failure, you just run out of gas. You don't, you don't want to stop by the gas station and put, you know, 30 cents worth of gas in there, especially if you don't have any oil with you. So you just carry that little oil with you if you're going to go on a little, you know, day trip. So that'll do it. And ciao.